Aliens are coming to kill us and destroy the planet. But that's our job. So I've been to see the film Independence Day and I didn't think it was very good, but it was, you know, a film at the cinema, so I still had some fun. Uh, When I watch films like that with aliens coming to kill us and destroy the planet, uh, it reminds me of uh, what right-wingers say about illegal aliens coming over to take our jobs. Because, uh, you know, killing inferior species and destroying the planet is our job, man. They should not be coming down here to our neck of the woods. And, you know, totally stealing our jobs, man. Not cool. Not cool, aliens. Not cool. Um, obviously, being vegan gives you a very different perspective on lots of subjects. And when I watch uh, films of aliens in them, uh, and humans like having the righteous... Uh, fight back the righteous defence against these superior alien species. I just think, where do we get the nerve to even resist uh, this conquering force, the like superior technology and intelligence? Shouldn't we just, uh, to you know, not to be hypocrites, since we enslave and uh, abuse our um, other species on this planet that we consider inferior, shouldn't we just lay down our arms and accept being eaten or enslaved by a superior alien species. Uh, obviously, you know, that's, we wouldn't want to do that. That's, you know, it goes against our own independent, ind- individual um, feelings, wants, desire to survive and stuff. But if we put ourselves in that position, should we empathise more with the animals that we, uh, we do that to? So we're the alien force as far as, you know, cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, fish... We're the alien conquering force of superior technology. Uh, but, they're, but they're not in a position that they can unite against us. Um, but when, when, an, when one of those species does kill a human, they get, they get brutally wiped out. So, you know, which is funny because by our own definition of like what's the good, the goody in, or the baddie in a uh, story, we fit all the uh, criteria for being the baddie. In you know, in the story, we 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 kill innocent creatures and we destroy the planet, and uh, we're not even self-aware enough for that to be a commonly accepted you know point of view. When I watch films like uh, the Planet of the Apes, the like the older ones especially, I just uh, you know it's funny how we're supposed to like identify the humans and like hate the apes for enslaving the humans. But to be fair, even in the old ones, but more, more so in the new ones, the apes are way more relatable. <laughs> I don't know if that's because I'm vegan or because I'm like a weird ape lover. But the apes, man, I've, I'm on the ape side. If it was the new Planet of the Apes, I wish I would like to be in that film. I would like to be have a faction of humans that support the apes. I forget the humans. The humans, we've had our chance to... Uh, we've had our chance to, you know, govern the world. And we've done a poor job, I would say. Um, so I think, you know, Caesar and his ape uh, group, I say fair play to him. I say good luck. Learn from our mistakes. Do a better job at governing the world. I think I'm pretty confident he would because it'd be hard to do a worse job. Uh, so, I'd, yeah, I'm, all, I'm on board. I'm Vote, vote Caesar for uh, president. You know, so it's not like another thing of films that's funny is you've got like... Um, Chicken Run, um, I can't remember all the things, but like any, any Disney or Pixar or uh, DreamWorks like animation for kids that's got animals in it, the animals are the goodies, and they're usually the humans are the baddies. So because it's set from the point of view of animals, you know how how could we how could we show humans in anything other than the role of uh, you know the antagonist? So, you know, it's funny that we're sort of aware enough, if we're being objective and putting the animals in the, uh, you know, from the animal's perspective when they're the, you know, the main characters, from their perspective, we can see that humans are the baddies. But then we can, and we can just go there and we can, like, check out of our own uh, self-awareness and just watch something where humans are doing what humans do and killing animals and hurting them. 
uh, and then we can and then the film is over and you're, you know all the way through the film you're there like going oh hope they get away from the humans hope they get away from the humans right cut the film film's finished right let's McDonald's yeah happy meals for all the kids you know it's just like it's such a it's amazing what's amazing is human psychology we can just go from uh, sitting there rooting for the animals hating the humans they're bad they're bad they're bad and then oh all off okay well now I'm going to go and have a Big Mac there's no there's no it's an, isn't it isn't it impressive how we can just be that hypocritical we can just like switch from one thought process to like completely ignoring it I mean that's quite quite a th- feat I think uh that we can do. I mean, it's disgusting and uh, ripe for exploitation and manipulation that we can do that, but that is something we can do. That is a skill we have.